All right, all right, boom, boom. Chicken, chicken, chicken head, please, whatever. Hey, look, there's no lords and peasants at Tesla. See, a lot of y'all other companies got lords and peasants and people who are just above you. I'm going to let Elon tell you what he's talking about when he talks about that, okay? But I actually know the people on the line because I worked on the line and I walked the line and I slept in the factory and I, and I worked beside them. So I'm no stranger to them. There are many people at Tesla who Stop the show. What do you mean you worked on the line? Yes, he was front line, live and direct. See, y'all CEOs and executives and shareholders, they're not on the front line. They're not in the in the field getting their hands dirty. Well, Elon is in the field getting his hands dirty. Now, people could go back through the history and read something called the production hell, but it was massive amounts of chaos going, right? Elon scaled the company, the robots that make the robots, the machine that makes the machine. And that was what he thought was the proper way of about automating the process of creating a car. He was wrong. And as he was ramping the Model 3, he had to scale back. Imagine setting up robots, getting people to program it and all that other type of stuff. And then you were wrong about it. So he was in the factory. He was sleeping on the floor. See, y'all love Steve Jobs for whatever particular reason. Steve Jobs did a lot of good things. Don't get me wrong. He pushed people. People were saying he weren't so nice, but I guess they just let him go. After that, about him being so volatile, I don't think he was. He probably just didn't like normies. But anyways, <laughs> he wasn't sleeping on the line. Last time I checked, but he was very committed. So I don't want to take that from him. But Elon is very committed also to Steve Jobs, the John D. Rockefeller, the JP Morgan, the Henry Ford, the William Bowen of today is Elon Musk. And Vanderbilt, he's everything wrapped in one. And it's just because of his performance, not just because I'm saying that. So again, he was frontline and center and he was in the trenches with employees. And you're like, wow, this is a CEO, he's a billionaire. And he's working harder than us, and I'm a trillionaire. Like, not even a trillionaire, a thousandaire, right? I'm a thousandaire <laughs> or a millionaire. And hey, I'm out here working every day, and Elon's right here with us. That's that's wild. So again, no lords, no peasants. Everybody is getting busy. Who have kind of gone from working on the line to being in senior management. There is no lords and peasants. Everyone eats at the same table. Everyone parks in the same parking lot. You know, at GM, there's a special elevator for only for senior executives. We have no such thing at Tesla. We give everyone stock options. Many people. So there you go. Look, look, look. Before he says about the stock options, because most of y'all don't know that, there's no lord and peasants. There is no special elevator around the back for executives. See, that happens at other companies. You know, you got the special executive park in. Is this hierarchy thing where it's like, oh. I'm better than you. I've been at the company longer. Well, you know, you could get replaced. You can, if, if, you, if, we, if I hit you with these hands, and I mean like technically and skill wise, if I'm better than you at the, getting the job done and I start producing results, you know, you, your, your time ain't nothing to my talent. So again, that's an opportunity at Tesla. Might not be an opportunity at a bunch of companies. You know how it goes now. That doesn't mean there's no bureaucracy, but there's not that hierarchical system where it's like, hey, we got special parking spots. Now, this is the next one he's going to go into the stock options, right? And most people don't understand what stock options is. And then guess what? I'm going to actually explain it to you guys on the back end, right? And stock rewards, right? Stock rewards from, let's say, from a company. We're going to explain that. But let me let him finish. Hey, Con hey, hey Elon, I'm going to let you finish. But I think that Steve Jobs had the best. No, I'm just kidding. Let's get it options. Many people who are just working the line, who didn't even know what stocks were, we've made them millionaires. And I just want to say that I'm incredibly appreciative of those who build cars and they know it. But I actually know the people on the line because. So he knows the people on the line and the majority of the people that's been on the line that actually worked at Tesla are actually winning, right? They're a part of the company. They get paid in stocks. They don't even know what stocks is. They have rewards and options, which are two different things. Options maybe is you buying into it and the rewards is awarded it depending on what your contract says. Each person is different. 
and each position, et cetera, might be different. So in a company, stock options or stock rewards are a type of equity compensation often given to employees as a way to align their interests with the company's success. So a lot of you guys try to have like UN, uh, a union, and try to get mad at the company and uprise. Well, if you're a part of the company, even if you have a union, right? Like, oh, go create a union. It's like, bro, you still don't own the company, right? You're just like an outsider talking about it and trying to negotiate with the company, which is cool. But once you have like equity, you own parts of the company and that's way better. That's like representation plus you have some sweat in the game versus just being like, hey man, let's have this conversation. Like, okay, you can do more with ownership. Now, stock options. Stock options are contracts that give employees the rights to buy a company stock at a predetermined price, right? After a certain period or once specific conditions are met. And usually this price is set at a market value of the stock on the date of the options are granted. And so if the company stock price rises over time, employees can buy shares at a lower price and benefit from the increase. So once you buy them like that increase, regardless of the future, if it goes higher and higher, that's even better. But the cherry on top is you already negotiated a lower price. Thank you and you're welcome. And then they are typically subject to vesting schedules, meaning an employee can only exercise the options after certain periods of employment or if performance goals are achieved. And there are two main types of stock options, incentive stock options and non-qualified stock options. So the incentive is generally limited to employees with potential tax benefits, but subject to specific holding periods. And non-qualified stock options can be offered, excuse me, to employees, contractors, or board members that have different tax implications. Now, stock rewards, this is also a little bit different, right? So what does that mean? Stock rewards or RSUs are actually shares of stock given to employees, right? Given, but they often come with conditions. Unlike RSUs don't require an employee to pay to exercise price. So again, it's given to you. You're not having to pay for it, but they have different conditions. They receive the shares outright once they meet the vesting requirements. And RSUs are taxed as income when they vest since the employee receives stocks directly. After vesting, uh, employees can hold, sell, or transfer the shares, although some companies may have restrictions on this, and it just depends, right? And so they're often used as a retention tool since employees receive more shares over time. And key differences is, you know, cost to employees, you know, time of taxing and ownership. But anyways, these programs can be a powerful incentive, especially in growing companies as employees benefit directly from the company's rising stock. And, and again, this is some of the reasons why Elon forms different companies, like a startup company of XAI, because, you know, let's say very high talented and skilled individuals, they might not want to join a company like Tesla because it's just too seasoned and far down in the game, where if they create something like from scratch at a new company, um, they can have those stock options or stock rewards that gives them that earning potential when those companies do well going into the future. But are already, let's say, publicly traded, you know, blue chip company like Tesla is just too far down the road. So if you try to do a new thing and say, hey, I'm going to offer stock options, people are less incentivized, especially, again, those high performing skilled individuals. So at Tesla, you're not only not, you know, categorized between lords and peasants, but also on top of that, you have equity into the company. And I think that's a great opportunity to make Americans great again, not America, Americans great again by having this option of equity into the company. You wanna own parts of the company by working for the company? Well, we give that out in rewards and also options that you could buy in at a reduced price. So on top of your 401k, where a company can match that, that's 100% return when the company matches up to that X amount that they match to. And then also on top of that, this will be a stock option where if you purchase it at the reduced price below the fair market value, <laughs> whatever the difference is, that's a bonus and a benefit. And if it appreciates in the future, all the better. You might even pay dividends. And then also at the end of the day, you still have stock rewards where you didn't even really pay for that. You just worked there and did a good job and performed according to your requirements of your contract. Everyone hates Tesla, but they forget to omit these things. That this is some of the best things that you could receive from a company. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get this electricity. And it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I see you on the next